Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I'm going to start with Ms. Kenna and Mr. Campbell. Uh, just some some quick yes or no's. Um, I think you've said already today. We you believe we need bold, urgent action to stop climate change today. Correct? Yes. 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 Um, yes or no? Do you support a twenty-seven billion dollar investment for grid infrastructure? Yes. Yes. What about $21.5 billion investment for clean energy demonstrations to research carbon capture? Not as well versed on carbon capture, so I can't opine on that. Okay. Energy demonstra clean energy demonstration projects, though, generally? Uh, generally, I would say yes. Okay. Uh, yes or no, $6 billion investment to support the existing civil nuclear fleet? No. No, not, not fans of nuclear? No. Okay, I guess that would make sense considering the, the business model. Um, I, I uh, respectfully disagree on that. Um, having said that, I, I wanted to go through that primarily um, to, well, and then one final thing for, for Ms. Kenna. You said the cost of inaction on climate goes up with each passing day, correct? Yes. So it, mostly yes answers to those questions. So I guess my my thought is what justification could there possibly be for my Democratic colleagues and for those who believe we need bold, urgent climate action and the cost of an action goes up with each passing day, not to put up a bipartisan infrastructure package today, which has the exact investments that I just outlined. I see no possible logic. Uh, if you're going to sit here and argue that every day we waste is a day that climate gets worse, when we have a bipartisan package that we could put up, it would pass, I think, I hope. Uh, I would vote for it, um, and uh, and we need to do that. Um, Mr. Campbell, I'm going to stay with you and talk about inflation for a second. The solar sector has not been immune to the supply chain disruptions and rising commodity prices. Price of silicon, for example, has increased 300% in just the past few months. One of the pillars of the SEP would incentivize utilities to go green by rewarding them for shifting to wind and solar energy. If the bill only stimulates demand for solar panels, but doesn't solve the under underlying supply chain issues, wouldn't that further drive up inflation? Um, possibly, but I, Congressman Gonzalez, I would also like to highlight, when I started my company in 2009, um, we're, take a step back, we're developing a 139 megawatt project in Missouri, which will cost us about $160 million to build. 11 years ago, that would have cost us over $900 million to build. So due to smart climate legislation, uh, the cost of solar has drastically come down. But like any other industry, we're not immune to inflation. Right. And the raw material silicon, though, that has gone up by 300 percent, the raw material itself. I, I am not aware of that fact, Congressman. Okay. I, I cite the, the statistics on that. My bottom line is we have, we have urgent climate action. We need to make the investment. We should put up the bipartisan infrastructure package, which a lot of people agree on. And secondly, we can't be immune to inflation. We can't be spending $3.5 trillion when the economy is already overheating. It's horribly irresponsible. And with that, I yield back. 